Oh, yeah. In 1942, we went to war and we won. Ha, ha. Yeah, well, yeah. we wrote it, didn't <laughs> they? I mean, all they do is glorify war. All yeah. they talk about is war, war, war. Let's talk about some of these ancient civilizations from 20,000 years ago and how, how could they get to this level? What happened to cause them to not be at that level? Oh, the Western world came along and called them heathens and savages no. and said, yeah, right. you're, you're doing it all wrong. Let us show you how to do it. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> I, think exactly. it's the same way, I think it's the same way that when they um, introduced the Bible into the like African stuff and they went there basically and was like okay guys them, man. we got this book they forced it on them. this is the truth you got to follow this you know and everyone like obviously took the Bible and was like oh yeah this is the truth now so you know you even if it was a good book or a bad book then in, while they were reading the book busy you know uh, they thought okay we're going to take this we're going to take this we're going to take this and then everyone was like hold on we're supposed to be religious and loving and, and everyone was like no we got an, if, Another agenda. If you think of, 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 I mean, religion, you know, I'm not a strong religion person, but if you think of religion anyway, and think of, okay, oh, wait, wait a second. Before our forefathers to Christianity, mm. they had a religion. Yeah. Now, Voodoo. when you think about religion, and well, that's the thing. You go to certain islands and they call it black magic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People doing it. Well, if you think about it, what they're practicing is something that was just taught to them by their forefathers. Yeah. I mean, you may say, well, is that, their, is that the true religion? Is, mm-hmm. is that why some people still practice it? Because they actually think, well, that's from the homeland. You know, they found um, people in Africa who practice a Judaism, which they thought had died out. It's that old. And they've actually realized that these guys were originally Jews. They've come from, sure. what was his, you know, Israel from the old days. But, you know, you go to Israel now, and it's like, well, hold on a second. Not so much black people. <laughs> Actually, I think you do. To be fair, I think you, they only show. It's yeah. like when you go to the Middle East; they only show the light-skinned people in the TV. Mm-hmm. Like when you go to Thailand, for example, or, or Vietnam, you see all the light-skinned yeah. people. When you go there, you see everyone is dark, and you're like, "Hold on a minute, where are these people ever seen in the media? You never see them because they want to give this portray this image that you know white is right and you got to look right. you're beautiful." Life is not right, man. Yeah. Life is not to see him as well, co- colorism yeah. is, a, is a thing. It's not just a, a black or African thing. Mm. Exactly. This, is, this is a universal thing, yeah. colorism. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah. and, and yeah. like you said, um, we were in Thailand last summer, mm. and we learned that the darker-skinned people were the ones who kind of worked the land. And yeah. 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 They, yeah. They were yeah. at the bottom of the bottom. caste system yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. yeah. You find it's the yeah, same in Brazil same, same too. As China. Same as China. Yeah, China too. And Brazil, when you look at Brazil, mm-hmm. which is unfortunate, all the dark skinned people are in the favelas and the poor, er- impoverished areas. And obviously, all the, the lighter skinned people or the European people, with, like uh, the people with European heritage, they're all in the banks and in the nice places. So it's um, a little bit unfair, you know, when you look around. Yeah, but... it's, 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 it's very topsy turvy. Well, going back, you know, what, going back to what I said, they should definitely, I think, to to show differences, you have to understand differences. Mm-hmm. And I don't think enough of the world are, are shown or experience differences. You know, if you think of the percentage of people that leave their, their town in their lifetime, never mind their country, mm-hmm. you know, you, you can only learn what you see. You can only learn about things that you experience. And I think that's what's lacking. And when it, you know, it comes down to things like education and unfortunately it comes down to money and and all those other things. But if you can enrich a person's life mm-hmm. from an early age, they just become enriched. They, they, they just, they understand more about culture, about color, about themselves, about the world. But, um, yeah, man, I definitely think something's afoot. So let's, let, let, let's keep the neon on the uh, establishment's throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. Anyway, Let's talk a bit more about Miss Smalls and her um, personal achievements. You got a bachelor's, uh, a bachelor's degree in political mm-hmm. science. It's funny. Yes, so, yes. My, my wife actually has the same thing. She has really? Science. Yeah, I'm as, married you, as you can see, I'm putting that, that degree to use. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, uh, what, what, what is political science? What, what is political it's, science in, in, it's in a, a sense? It's a study of government and study of politics and, and nations. Some of the very things that we're talking about is is a part of um, political science. Yeah, how like government very work. interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting topic. Okay, okay. Like it is actually. Miss Small should have went into government. And did you ever do anything in that role? You had some lead, leadership roles. I'm reading in your biography. 
Yeah, in, in terms America? of um, political science, I, I researched. I did a research fresh out of college, mm-hmm. um, you know, supporting Gallup. And then I went oh, on wow. to uh, environment. Yeah, and then I went on to environmental studies. And um, leadership, I, I transitioned over to career counseling and doing um, uh, talent acquisition. It was, it was when I was doing career counseling, I was working for a um, technical school in downtown D.C. And, mm-hmm. and D.C., if, if you guys have never been here, it's very urban. Um, there's lots of poverty in D.C. So this is actually where the ideas came started to come from in terms of um, writing the book. Um, So that's kind of what really led me to where I am today. Okay. So wait a minute, you live in Washington, D.C.? I'm right outside of Washington, D.C., but we call it the D.C. area. Okay. Uh, But you was raised in North Carolina. No, North Virginia. South Carolina. South Carolina. Carolina. And North Virginia, you have some, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how does these different states compare to each other? Like, obviously, you got Washington D or DC. You're the outskirts, so you're not really in the thick of things, I guess. Um, but like, obviously, Washington's a bit more like the president, and everything's a bit more up, uptown. Mm-hmm. South Carolina is probably a bit more <laughs> slow pace. <laughs> yeah, slow very place. southern, very slow pace. Everything closes at nine p.m. at night. Okay. Whereas in D.C., it's, you know, things are just starting at 9 p.m. Okay. Um, I would say here, D.C. area, it's much more diverse. Yeah. You have people from all parts of the world here. Um, yeah. You know, that when I moved here, it was the first p- time I saw people that were from North Africa and so on. Yeah, so it's it's very it's a it's very much so a mixing bowl, which is great. You know, yeah, um, yeah. Alastalio. Before we started, we we're talking about our ch- children. This is a great place to raise children because I want my children to understand diversity. Not only yeah, understand absolutely. it, but appreciate it. Yeah, and, yeah, sure. and yeah. embrace it very early on. So, okay. Wow. What is that? Why? Why is there such a like segregation in America still? When, like, 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 if you look at England. Like, it really is, like, the black and whites, they're mixed together. It's like, you know, they, they try, uh, unless you go to some villages somewhere, like, in the outbacks. What has happened in America <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, like, really in the sticks. What happened in America that kept people apart? Like, was it just, like, look, was it from your grandparents and stuff? Were they, like, look, don't mess with these guys? Because <laughs> that what happened? Was, was there any encouragement to, like, hang around with? Yeah, because it's a good question, isn't it? Was there any encouragement to, because I know white folks who, I also know white folks who are from America too. They were like, I never really seen black people before and stuff. You know, I never really had them in my village. You know, they were coming from like Washington. Town. They were from Washington State. They were from Washington town, State. No village. You know? <laughs> or ta- yeah, town or a village. You don't, have, you don't have villages in America. Everything's big No villages. No. <laughs> you don't have villages. Yeah, you got to have like countryside. I don't have like villages. We don't call man. anything villages here. It's, it's no. towns, cities, town. states, that kind of thing. No villages. Have you ever watched an American film and have said village in it? Think about it. Actually, none of you. No, but never, never. So, what, what I mean by village, maybe more like the countryside, you know, the countryside. Yeah. Country. Bush. Bush. I, I, can I can I jump in there? I think one of those reasons, even though I'm not American, you've got to remember that America as a country is probably what thirty times the size of the UK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We ain't got enough space to be segregated. <laughs> That's a great Everyone point. Knows Everyone knows that's BS. You'd be a host. We've all got to live next to each other, man. There's no choice. No choice. That's funny. Maybe we need to cut part of it off, and then we can get so, so I would say, oh, Stalio, we so we're we are segregated in certain um, in certain entities, like church, for example. Mm. That is definitely segregated. Yeah. Although now you will find that bursting on the scenes, there are more uh, integrated churches. People are starting to embrace diversity, but there's still a lot of churches that are not um, segregated okay. uh, or sorry, not integrated. Um, our neighborhoods are, are starting to become more integrated. Okay. So, um, you know, the workplace is definitely integrated now. We all yeah. work together. I do think you have, there are some parts of this country, just to be frank with you, I will not step a toe in. Yeah. Like Mississippi, Alabama, those parts of the deep, deep South, 
where, um, you know, sundown laws used to prevail and, uh, yeah, the KKK came out of, you know, yeah. they still have those backwards attitudes. Those, those mm-hmm. areas are still segregated by choice, mm-hmm. not necessarily legally, but they're still, you know, the black state of themselves, the white state of themselves. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when they pass each other in a town, it's, it's a fake, hi, how are you? But then behind closed doors, you know, plotting. it's... The plotting hey. on each other. Like, yeah, oh, so th- those areas, you know, they're still, they're still red. Red states, meaning they vote diehard Republican. And listen, mm-hmm. I voted Republican before in my life too, but not I would not in this current climate. Absolutely not. Um, so you so you do still have to be mindful um, within the United States, but there's still many, many. I, I found that in the cities, people that live in the more cosmopolitan cosmopolitan areas like DC, um, New York. Uh, LA, some of those cities, you tend to find lots of diversity. And when you've been exposed to diversity, yeah. you kind of have no choice but to appreciate yeah. what diversity brings. Yeah. yeah. So I, I honestly, I haven't experienced racism here that I know of. Mm-hmm. Now I've experienced it in the South. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Sure. But I've never experienced, you know, I have friends that are white that come over to my house. My kids are down the street right now playing with um, my white neighbor. Yeah, okay. Whom I adore. Um, so, you know, it just, it just depends on the area that you, that you live in. Okay. Uh, I've got a question. What is the, so you're the president of, and founder of a Prince William County chapter of Mocha Moms. Mocha right? Moms, yep. Mocha Moms. Um, is that Prince William from obviously England or is that? Which Prince William? Yes, but this, this is the county. So we we have like counties mm-hmm. that our cities are in. So it's the county. Okay, Prince, Prince William, William county. county. Okay. okay, well, it does refer to the Prince of England. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've, then, I've got I've, I've got a question. Um, obviously, um, the politics one. Why is it that there's no other parties other than the Democrats and the Republicans? There are. Mm-mm. You just don't hear about there is, them. They're very there is. small. There's a yeah. Green Party, Independent Party. Yeah. But those are the ones that have more support. So more support means more what? More money. Yeah. More money means more what? Advertising. So that's why you hear about the Democrats and the Republicans. The independent parties and the smaller parties, they can't afford to do national map you know, huge ads because they don't have that much support. Do you, do, do you think if you could mobilize the black community to get behind a party, I'm not necessarily saying Black Lives Matter, but a party which was for them. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying that they would get elected. It's most start certainly, it, 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 well, no, it would make a dent in the other two. So you're, when you think about it, if you're taking up sixteen percent of your country are going to say we're not voting for any of you guys, we're voting for this one party, mm. and if we if we vote for them, we can take over certain town halls or whatever, whatever, and we're going to spend that money within the black community as well. I mean that that would be a huge, a huge um, way of making a bloody um, statement because no. not you know if, even if even if the hispanics and the african americans came together and just said right we're going to form our own party and this is it you want democ- you want dem- democracy we're fine you can have democracy let's vote <laughs> that I, could be seismic <laughs> i think i think what, what you got to underest- what you don't you got you can't underestimate is that a lot of the voting is regional too isn't it so you have a lot of like even in the regional um, polling stations of it's blue and red you know there's never anybody else in there is there any states that you know of that have Maybe a liberal in charge or a green, you know, green piece or someone. Do you, have, do you know anyone, Miss Smalls? Uh, no, no states that have green piece in charge. Or, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you do have some states, like I said, that will vote. You know, you, you vote. The Electoral College, you vote pretty much as a state. And mm-hmm. so your state will either vote, depending on how many electors you have, it will either be, you know, Republican or Democrat. Yeah. No so you don't even have a gone. choice. Regionally, you so don't have a choice. That, so. does, that doesn't seem fair, though, because... <laughs> but it ain't fair, is it's it? It's not really? fair. I mean, you're, you're, you're numbered with the guy that they've brought back to life and the guy that they've brought back to life. It's like... I mean, this year, this year is not very good for... It doesn't look good for the Americans. 
this year, I would say. Well, you know, so so it, you make a great point. So here's the thing: we we are hoping. So a lot. So let's.